I got a job today, writing for the Jackson Journal. Great. You can write my obituary. Charlotte Phelan, dead. Her daughter, still single. Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Estilos here with popular actress Emma Stone, star of the new film, The Help. And I have to tell you, this was an incredible film. I really enjoyed the experience. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad. Now, you are known for doing a lot of films earlier that are, are sort of lighter fare, you mm -hmm. know, much more fun. This was at least one of your first forays into something a lot more serious. What was that like for you and how challenging was it? It was, um, it was, you know, it was an incredible experience. It was, it was, the story was it kind of no-brainer to want to be a part of it was instantly um, it instantly attracted me uh, but in terms of you know b character wise playing the character it felt it felt you know it feels similar whether it's comedy or drama in that sense I mean I, I always have trouble putting it kind of in a genre but you know you approach it kind of from the same place so it didn't really feel too uh, too daunting in that task and it was you know the same same kind of approach Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't ever think you'd leave Ole Miss. It does take four years, Jillian. What really sets this film apart is that it, it, it takes place from a different kind of perspective than we've seen in terms of depicting the civil rights movement. I mean, we're seeing the domestic help that really people didn't speak about, didn't talk to. Right. It, isn't that true? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's a very personal story. It's a very... It's a, it's a small story about a big issue. These women raise white children. We love them and they love us, but they can't even use the toilets in our houses. Minnie, are you in there? You are fired! You said to write about what disturbs me, particularly if it bothers no one else. I'd like to write something from the point of view of the help. I want to interview you. No maid is ever going to tell you the truth. That's a hell of a risk to take in Jackson, Mississippi. That's what resonated with me. Uh, I think Catherine and, and now Tate have uh, just captured a voice uh, that, was, that has so long been silenced. And uh, it gave, um, I don't know, strength to, and, and, and an homage, basically, to these women who um, have inspired a generation, I think. Courage! It isn't just about being brave. It's about overcoming fear and daring to do what is right for your fellow man. Well, you grew up at a time when obviously segregation of this type doesn't exist. So how enlightening was it for you as an actress to touch and work with this sort of source material? I knew a shockingly limited amount about this era. Um, I, I, I went to public school and I think that I learned the story of Rosa Parks and the story of Martin Luther King Jr. And that was about it. Um, and so going and, and watching um, this beautiful documentary series that, that Tate Taylor, the director, gave us called Eyes on the Prize and learning more about this time period is, first of all, I think that knowing your history it, it really, really benefits your present. And secondly, I cannot even wrap my mind around the fact that it existed. Mm -hmm. To this day, it does not feel like reality to me. And maybe it's because I wasn't there to experience it, but it is just shocking to me that it was ever this, that this inequality ever existed. It just seems so inhuman to me. What changed your mind? God. And Miss Haley Holbrook. When you were down in Mississippi, and there were certainly a number of people who might have brought their experience to the table. Did right. they help you in terms of uh, bringing this role to the screen? I don't want to compare it to another very famous place where something terrible happened and they've moved past it. But there's, you know, those places in the world where something occurred in their past, in their history, and there's almost an eagerness to not speak of it because they're different now, and mm -hmm. that's not the mentality. <laughs> and I don't even need to tell you the stories of what my family went through because it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't that bad. We don't, we don't want to talk about it anymore. Exactly. And it's understandable because, you know, it, it would be like having a, uh, if I had a, a, a past where I was, did things I wasn't so proud of, and I, I wouldn't want to talk about it. But people that are living there right now, for the most part, for most of them, it's not their mentality. It's not that mentality anymore. So these people are incredibly kind and, and eager to move past that. But at the same time, you're, I keep saying this, but you're, we were in Greenwood, Mississippi on the Tallahatchie River, six miles from where Emmett Till's body was found. I mean, it's an undeniable presence. It was only 50 years ago. So you're still... 
you can still f you can still feel the history, and it's um, it was an incredible place to make the movie, and and a really you know a, a huge learning experience. Nowhere I ever would have lived mm -hmm. if it if it weren't for this. I'm gonna help with your stories. We all are. Y'all brought me into this, but I'm gonna finish it. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am. But you about to. As a modern black woman, what was this like for you to bring this to the screen, and how did it affect you personally? Oh, those are great questions. Um, it was very, uh, th that was my challenge, uh, being that I am a modern uh, black woman. How do I uh, have this performance without any anachronisms and uh, keep the purity of 1963? Uh, and so it was, I did a lot of research, um, it, but it was very difficult because I realized the things that I learned I didn't appreciate until, or learned in school, I didn't appreciate until I actually tried to recreate that time period emotionally. Minnie? Hey, Abeline. Hey, Minnie. Mm-hmm. What was it like for you to be part of this experience, putting it together? Because it was, it was a real collaborative effort in terms of the director and some of your co-stars yeah. being very familiar with the material beforehand. Right, right. It, was, it was kind of incredible to um, be, to be working with Tate and getting to meet Catherine who wrote the book and you know Octavia and Tate have been friends for 15 years and Alice and Jamie and Tate have been friends for 15 years and so you're entering this world of incredibly down-to-earth normal people who want to tell an amazing story and mm -hmm. it's it's kind of like the world's greatest work environment because it feels like family it's quite scandalous it sounds like Jackson if you ask me is there a part of Skeeter that you relate to personally, your personalities in terms of her being strong-willed and ambitious? Yeah, I, I, I would say we're both pretty strong-willed. We're both very curious, and I think we're both kind of idealistic in a way, and have this, I mean, the idea, the audacity in the idea of writing this book, and that, you know, we, in the scene where she says, hey, Evelyn, I want to interview you. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> you know, the fact that she thinks Aveline's going to jump on that bandwagon right away and then doesn't understand why she wouldn't out of, I, I mean, Aveline is being completely realistic and, and intelligent in that process and then finally kind of gives into that passion and, and Aveline, you know, single-handedly makes this book what it is. I, Skeeter could never tell this story, uh, you know, by herself and I think I definitely have that kind of wouldn't that be great? And people are like, you are out of your ever-loving mind. Thank you very much for making this film. Thanks very much. It's a much. pleasure meeting you. Thanks so much. Nice and we've been you. talking with Emma Stone of the new film, The Help. Go out and see it. I'm Tim Estilos for Boston Latino TV. You tell Abeline. Do I have plans for her? You are godless woman. We've gone done in now. <laughs> <laughs>